Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be about cold showers and it's going to be part of the My Journey series. Before I get into the video, I just wanted to give a short message and shout out to my 58 loyal subscribers. I want you guys to picture in your head in a couple years when I inevitably have millions of subscribers and millions of views on each of my videos. It will be an honor for you guys to say that you subscribe to me from day one and from the very start of my channel. But on a serious note, thank you guys for all the support. Okay, so on that note, let's get started. The first thing I want to talk about is why did I decide to do this challenge? If you guys watched my last video, which was waking up at 7 a.m. every single day, you know that it was convenient for me to do this challenge right after because the hardest part about waking up at 7 a.m. for me was I felt that I wasn't ready to start my day. I was usually too tired and groggy to get any work done. And so the best solution for that was to take a cold shower. For those of you guys that do it, I'm sure you know, the second you get in the shower, you're immediately way more alert and you just feel way better. So it made sense for me to do this challenge right after. And to quickly summarize the benefits of cold showers, there's a lot of research indicating that cold showers and cold plunges can help reduce inflammation in the muscles and joints, which is often why you'll see athletes doing a cold plunge immediately after a very physically demanding and taxing session. And the second finding, which isn't yet fully solidified by the research, is there may be some anti-aging properties from extreme cold and heat exposure. So that includes saunas and steam rooms as well. To quickly summarize why that is, the research believes that this exposure to extreme temperature is good for your stem cells, which is the main factor in determining if something is anti-aging. Okay, so it's 6.45. I woke up a bit earlier than usual because I got an 8.30 class that I, I have to get to. I'm currently freezing and super tired. I'm just gonna jump straight in and get it over with. And anecdotally speaking, the benefits that I experienced throughout this week were increased mood and energy throughout the day, better sleep, so at night, I felt that it was easier to go to bed and I felt that my sleep was a lot deeper. And the small thing is I just felt my skin improve from doing the cold showers. And so moving on to the hardest part of the challenge, without a doubt, although I do sound like a cold shower enthusiast, it was definitely the mental block of waking up having to do something as challenging as a cold shower. And so there's really two ways that you can overcome that type of mental barrier. The first way is to get yourself hyped up, but the approach that I find more suitable for me and the one that I like better is accepting the difficult nature of the challenge and as Bruce Lee says, trying to be one with the water and one with nature as I like to say. So what I would do before I did the cold shower is I would take a minute or two to do some deep breathing, try and get myself relaxed and try and get my mental state at a place where I'm no longer fearing doing a cold shower and I'm actually excited to do it because it's going to be relaxing and because of all the benefits that it brings. And then when I got into the shower, I would try and be as zen as possible. And something that you might see me doing in the footage, which goes against your natural instinct, is when you first get into the cold shower, your body immediately wants to go static and just stay frozen like this and get as tight as possible. And the reason why it wants to do that is, firstly, it wants to just reduce its surface area for which the cold water can contact you. And the second thing is it helps you retain body heat when you're more compact. So what I would try and do is ignore that instinct. So I would make sure that the water was getting to all parts of my body. And I was making sure that it was loose and not tense throughout the cold shower. And that all came down to mindset, which would not have been possible if I hadn't done the breathing exercises prior and just been more relaxed overall. So I just finished day five. I comfortably stayed in for around a minute or two. Honestly, I'm glad that the progression has been this fast. And soon enough, I don't even think it'll be that much of a challenge to do a one minute or two minute cold shower in the morning. And so that concludes today's video. I'm definitely gonna continue doing the cold showers as part of my daily routine. And I highly encourage all of you to try it out for yourselves. And as always, you can reach out to me in the comment section below or on Instagram. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.